Now, I know that I usually do my vlogs either on like, you know, a weekday or... Really, camera? This is not the day to do this to me. Okay. I usually make my vlogs on the weekends. It's technically a weekday. Get over yourselves, people who like to consider Friday a weekend to just get out of school. No. Today is Friday, and I will always remember today, October 7th, 2011, as the day my house almost burned down. Now, of course, you being my loyal viewers and minions, drones and nerds who watch this only because you wish to aspire to be like me, which is a very small portion of you, I can assure you, um, are probably wondering, oh my god, ML Jangles, what happened? Your your house almost burned down. You, mu you must be terrified. You know what? No, I'm not. Because quite frankly, it was just annoying. And by annoying, of course, I mean that it's just yet another mess to clean up in my house. Now, to explain exactly what happened, I I'm going to have to go back about five or so years to when my mother and I were going to Yankee Candle to shop for a Halloween decoration, because my mother loves candles, and so do I. And we found a little witch with her right arm extended with two birds. She's holding a cauldron. She's dressed in green. And in the cauldron, you're supposed to put a wax tart, and you... Uh, you melt those and it makes your house smell nice or something. And so we've had it for about five years, I think. Six, I guess. And needless to say, by my reaction to all of this, it's obviously my, it was my favorite Halloween decoration or autumn decoration for all you crazy militant religious people out there who think Halloween is sinful. Um... Now, I walk out of my room today for some reason, I forget why, and I turn the corner to go into my kitchen, and out of the corner of my eye, my peripheral vision, what do I see but my favorite Halloween decoration burning? It was on fire, as was the plastic plant next to it, and it was charring the cabinet above it. Now, the, the cabinet was not directly above it. It was, The candle was obviously forward quite a bit because the cautious people that we are, we didn't want the cabinet to catch on fire. That apparently didn't take. No, it didn't. Because either... Okay, three things could have happened. Either the candle could have caught the cauldron on fire, which could have had like a wax or a plastic thing around it. The wax could have caught on fire, which would not make any sense at all. Or the flame could have gotten too high and caught in the witch on fire, which that, but that is the least likely reason. Because when I walked out and I saw it, the wax was on fire. Now, wax does not catch on fire, uh, but th this, w this was. And I remember it being on fire because it fell to the floor and the wax was on fire. Um, so I finally blew it out and took it outside and everything. And I come back in and the entire side of our cabinet is charred. And that, that wiped off. The black smudge on the, on the two sides wiped off. But in the crease and under, underneath it, it's not coming off anytime soon. So yeah, my house almost burned down, YouTube. Send me money! Kidding, don't really. So, I just... Personally, I blame spooks. This, I do not think, is a natural occurrence. I think this has supernatural reasoning behind it. I think that spooks caused this, because this is the the month of... Like, this, this is really the spook month ghosts and spirits and poltergeists and things of that nature. If you don't know what a poltergeist is, pick up a book. Um, but, yeah. So, my house almost burned down, the fire alarms went off, but, oh! And don't even get me started on those smoke detectors! The smoke detectors at my house, while the candle was burning my, or the witch, while it was, the thing was burning, My house was being filled up with smoke. 
which we had to open all the doors in my house and all the windows and all the king's horses and all the king's men. But, um, so we opened all the doors and the windows and the smoke was inside the house. And so only after the, the dang thing was outside of the house and all the doors were open and we were all very aware that there was a fire in our house, only then did the smoke alarms start wailing their sirens and hurting my ears. And really, that's just... Imagine if we had not detected the fire sooner. Our house could have been burned down and we wouldn't even know about it until the fire alarms went off. And had that happened, it would have been too late. We would have been standing outside with the fire department helping us put it out. So yes, I'm ticked off. Wait a second. Where in God's name are my glasses? Oh. <laughs>